All right, how's it going, everyone? Today we're going to be talking about the new Spider-Man movie, No Way Home. Um, I wish I could have gotten this out earlier, but holidays being holidays, I've been busy, gone, uh, flying across the country, stuff like that. So has been pretty rough to try to get a bunch of this stuff up. I actually have a huge backlog I'm working on. But let's talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. So, um, I should say that I'm probably just going to go straight into spoiler discussions. If you haven't seen it yet, then I really recommend you see it at this point, because I think it's been out for a couple weeks of me recording this video. Um, yeah, uh, it's great. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this movie, and I'm a pretty big Marvel fan, so keep that in mind that I have a little bit of bias towards Marvel overall, but I really think that this movie was probably the best marvel production this year i think that um wandavision loki and shang chi were all pretty i would say wandavision and loki being my two favorites shang chi being pretty solid falcon winter soldier being pretty solid and then some of the other ones were yeah I wasn't a huge fan of the Eternals, but Spider-Man was really cool to see them bring back these, you know, these villains and characters and the other Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire from their own movies, still using elements of those movies um, to tie them in uh, to this movie and kind of not only do like i mean make them elements of tom holland's story but also kind of give them cl more like closing conclusion concluding arcs as well i thought that was super cool and surprisingly well done um i i'm trying to think of like my favorite parts of the movie i really i'm thinking about the aunt may scene which i like, one thing that I, w I will say about this is I know a lot of people... For me, I've really enjoyed the Tom Holland Spider-Mans quite a bit. Um, I think it's an interesting take on it. I'm not a huge comic reader, so I know there's elements... Um, some comic readers weren't as, as excited. Some people didn't really like that, uh, you know, he had all this technology that he was working with. Like, basically, you know, mini Iron Man and stuff like that. That, you know, we didn't get the origin really as, as much... But I thought that, like, oh, man, this movie did, like, address a lot of those concerns pretty concisely and really well done. Um, the Aunt May scene was, uh, I want to start with that, because I think that scene was, like, it was super interesting as, like, just a, an element of, like, writing as its own. I mean, the, the classic, um, with great power comes great responsibility line and stuff like that, you know, all that stuff is fine. But I'm thinking about, like, the death sequence um, as I was watching it. I was, like, you know, she gets hit. And, like, I'm, like, wow, that was really hard. Like, she's done and over with. And, you know, I'm expecting the classic, like, movie where the hero runs over and is, like, oh, my God, are you okay? And, like, they die in their arms. But she gets up. And, like, walks over to him. And you're like, oh, okay, it's fine. But they did this, like, like beat by beat. They they gave it this, you know, what's usually, like, a very, like, quick scene. They kind of did, like, a fake out almost of the death in a way where, you know, she gets up and she seems like she's fine. But really she's already, like, dying. And she just doesn't realize how badly she's been wounded. And we get that stagger moment. And I was like... Like, I was like, oh, man, I was really scared there. And then, like, I saw her stagger. I was like, no! Um, but it just, like, the amount of tension that they worked with and, like, playing almost on those death tropes in a way where we get a little bit of, like, it, it's extended enough to where it's like, oh, things, maybe things are okay. Maybe, you know, this is a superhero universe. People get hit with things like that all the time. Maybe she's all right. But then we realized she's not all right. And I thought that was, uh, like, it's just a really emotional scene and really, really well done. And then the cops show up and they shoot um, Peter. 
which is just like it's like salt in the wound and it's ah oh, it's super 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 good i really really enjoyed that scene a lot um and like i feel like the beginning of this because this is a long movie and the beginning of this movie is a lot of setup it, it takes a long time to set this up and get all the wheels moving for this but when they get going man there's so many good hard-hitting moments in there the um the roof scene with MJ and Ned and both the other Peters was really, really good. And it felt like a, a, like a great moment of like brotherhood between the three of them that I really enjoyed. Um, you know, the trying to save these villains and, you know, going through with that even after everything is after everything that happened with may and stuff like that was just like that's kind of what being a hero is about and it's really it was really sad but really great to like kind of have may impart that to peter tom holland's peter parker and it was just oh I'm sorry. I just I loved that scene. I thought that scene was like a really good like heart of the movie, and it kind of like sets him on the path that we get through the entire of the movie, where he makes the the sacrifice to, you know, have everyone forget about Peter Parker, so that he and and chooses to be Spider Man, so that he can, um, protect the people he loves. And, and save the world from being ripped apart. Well, until, you know, we see what happens in Doctor Strange 2. Um, but makes that sacrifice. And even, like, I'm thinking about the ending when he goes to see, he sees Ned and MJ in the little cafe there. And I thought for sure that they were basically going to be like, okay, we solved this problem, like, like have him kind of like the movie end on the classic of like hi i'm I'm peter and like maybe cut there where you know leaving the viewer with this oh it's going to be worked out by the time four you know because i think we're going to get another trilogy with him um but before four comes around have have that uh those relationships mended and stuff like that but they don't they end up he ends up making the choice to not tell them about what happened and kind of he's alone completely completely alone and it's a really tr almost like there, there's a bit of bittersweetness in there but it's pretty tragic when you think about it and i really thought that was like they they just made like really good choices for the narrative and to make sure that it move it can move forward beyond this um you know this trilogy and i i'm excited to see more like i think that they did uh like this one was just like it was so so like juggling everything that it was juggling it was amazing that they managed to get all that and the um there were so many good moments in the final fight too between all three of the spider-men uh, like, I'm thinking about, like, when, when Toby Spider-Man stops Tom Holland from killing Green Goblin, like, that was such a good moment, and there were so many of these good, like, like, tying up moments with all these villains, um, that had come from the different universes and stuff like that, and I, I, oh, gosh, so satisfying. Um, let's think about, See, I enjoyed the movie so much that I'm trying to think of, like, critiques for it. Because I didn't really... Like, I left the movie theater very, very happy. And part of that might be because, like... I have felt like a lot of Marvel stuff this year has been setting up for Phase 4 and beyond. Um, which makes sense because... And that's what I've kind of been talking a lot um, with my own friends in the background and stuff like that. I think I've probably said that a couple times on here, but there's so many like 
like Endgame ended so much of the start of the MCU that they've kind of got to do all this work to set pieces back in place and get things building back up because you can't do an Endgame level movie every couple of years. It's just it's too much work of setup and you need these here like these journeys to continue. Like the reason Endgame I think hit so hard um was just because we had well Endgame Infinity War together was because we had all of this backlog of information coming into those movies. And not all of it was great. Don't get me wrong, I'm thinking of Thor 2. Um, but it, it ended up you know, being worth it to see that journey and see where these characters came. And that's what I feel like is happening now a lot. But with, I think the reason that Spider-Man was so good was because it was a concluding point for Peter Parker. It was his third movie, the end of this trilogy, and it played on the old Spider-Man movies, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, and the first three Spider-Man movies uh, with Tobey Maguire, and it was, like, it had access to those five movies, plus the two uh, Tom Holland movies, plus all of Spider-Man's existence in the MCU to really tie these, you know, threads together and, and conclude that. Now they've got some building up to do after that you know things will probably the next i I have a feeling four will probably be a bit slower and have a lot more it'll probably be mostly just like focused around tom holland being spider-man i don't expect um a lot of like these pieces that have been broken in this movie to be fixed by the by the ending of spider-man 4 assuming they actually do make another trilogy i expect those to be fixed probably in five and then six being kind of the the concluding arc of I would imagine the concluding arc of Tom Holland as Spider Man forever in the MCU passing the torch I would guess in the next trilogy because um, that's what we're getting a lot now is there's a lot of like torch pat passing to new heroes um, in in the new properties and stuff like that that's really uh, like Captain America Black Widow all that fun stuff. So, um, I, I really enjoyed this movie. There's really not a lot I can critique about it. I, I think that it's really, really well done. Maybe you all have some critiques that I'm not thinking about. I know some of my, uh, one of my friends that I went with, um, didn't like certain elements of like the setup phase with Dr. Strange and imprisoning the villains and stuff like that. He felt it was kind of not necessarily needed. I, I, I could see his point. Um, but I just, I had a good, like, this was just a fun ride for me overall. So, but let me know what you all think. Um, I'm sure that there's people have already seen a billion of these reviews. Cause I know like every person under the sun is reviewing this movie, but hopefully a few of you will enjoy and, uh, enjoy my take on it and, uh, have some, uh, good discussion about it. So I think that'll be it for this one. Everyone. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.